you can see the TV displays half screen with the lines running across the middle of the screen vertical lines so probably the, this must be the, the, the vertical section has a fault so we are going to switch the television off and uh, since we have already opened the back of the TV we are going to disconnect we are going to disconnect uh, some pins from the motherboard so that we can be able to identify the fault as you can see this is our motherboard this is our motherboard and uh, this is the this is the vertical section this is the vertical IC these are capacitors for filtering the voltage for soft smoothening so we are going, we are, we are going to check on our capacitors to see if they are okay so if you are, you are, you are found with a similar problem the easiest way to, to know which capacitor has a fault we just know the voltage of the capacitors from the look of my capacitors they all have 470 microfarad 25 volts 470 microfarad 25 volts this is the vertical section so i'm going to turn my tv around i'm going to turn my tv around yes i'm going to turn my tv around and look at the output of the chopper transformer as you can see this is there this is why we have the diodes for electrification and uh, our capacitors are aligned over here we have our capacitors here so i'm just going to get a 470 microfarad capacitors with voltage above 25 i can use this one this one here with me it has a it has a uh, 35 volts 470 microfarad you can see 35 volts 470 microfarad this is my capacitor this is the one i'm going to use to check which capacitor is bad so now i'm going to turn my tv back on i'm going to turn my tv back on as you can see it displays half screen so on my side of the motherboard with my capacitor with my 35 volts 470 microfarad capacitor I'm just going to attach it to the section where we have the capacitor so this is the first one so this is the 470 microfarad 25 volts capacitor so when I, I attach it there, I'm just going to come and see, no change in the television, I'm going to come back, go to the next capacitor over here, remember you have to put the capacitor in the right polarity, this is the second capacitor, I'm going to confirm, still no change. This is the third capacitor. So this is so I'm going to attach the third capacitor right here. I'm going to confirm. And yes, there my screen it's now full. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to switch off the television i'm going to switch off the television now that i have noted that on adding a capacitor on this capacitor the, the display becomes full again i'm going to replace that capacitor with a new one so i'm just going to, to take my solder gun 
I'm just going to take my solder gun and remove the capacitor from the set. So this is the this is the capacitor of which I have found to be faulty. This one over here at the vertical section. You can see this capacitor here at the vertical section. It has some problems. So I'm going to replace it. I'm just going to come and remove it gently. This is the capacitor 470 microfarad, 25 volts, and I'm going to replace the capacitor with a capacitor of the same rating 470 microfarad 25 volts so i'm just going to come back check the polarity of the capacitor insert it and then solve it after that after successfully doing that I'm going to I'm going to turn my set on and confirm if the problem has been solved. So I'm just going to come turn the TV on waiting for the TV to turn on. Yes, there thankfully my TV has been repaired to display full screen as you can see. The TV is perfectly fine. So if you are faced with a similar problem concerning vertical lines on the screen, just go and replace the capacitors on the vertical section. Thank you. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel.